Okay, hey everyone. I have a couple of products that I wanted to show you that were kind of new to me. And they may not be new to you, so like, don't make fun of me if you may have seen some of this before. Some that I know I have hauled before, but I just wanted to reiterate some things about those products. And so I'll just get started. So first of all, the product that I didn't know anything about before was La Dire. La Dire. And um, a lot of people may know of them because they are famous for their macaroons and um, the fr French pastries that they make. And also the decor of their shops is very, um, what is the era of Marie Antoinette? I don't know the year. Is it Louis the 16th? Let's see. I don't know. Forgive me. I don't know my history. But anyway, it was a very feminine styled era. And um, this is uh, evident of that. But if you go online and look at this and look at their stores, you'll just be like, oh my gosh, this is just too cute. Um, they have a few lines. The Les Secret, which is this right here, I think has what I got, which was a keychain and also candles and some room sprays and then there is the original um, pastry line which which they're famous for the macaroons that's kind of what they're extremely famous for actually and they're like outrageously priced bonbon boxes that you should do it I just you should do it it's wonderful but anyway um you have to order it overseas the best I know and I think they also started a beauté line it's Dire Beauté Beauty um, and they have like a four quad eyeshadow. Um, they have blush, which I did order, but I didn't get yet. <clears throat> and they're done with the very, um, why can't I think of the word? Anyway, the period of Marie Antoinette, that look, what is that look called? I can't think. Anyway, that's the style of the packaging. So it's very feminine, very opulent, elegant. It kind of reminds me of a Tude house in that it's plastic. Of course, a lot of our packaging for uh, cosmetics is plastic. But um, anyway, it's very beautiful. And it's pricey. And I fell in love with... I, the only thing that I could find, I could not find the eyeshadow. Uh, I think you could get one of th three brushes and the brush holder. But anything else, I didn't see that you could purchase. I, I mean, you could look at it, but you couldn't purchase it. So, I don't know... <clears throat> if there's a dealer in the United States or not, it didn't look like it. Um, I think there may be one in Miami, but I'm not sure. Anyway, you could just Google this name and go find out all that you want about it. But anyway, this is what I got. Fell in love with it online and said, you know, this, this is the little packaging. It's very elegant the way they package everything. And this is what came inside. Let me be careful to take it out right so I don't tear it up taking it out. See, it's all pre-molded. So they're very careful with it. I fell in love with the keychain. And this is what it look lo looks like. It's got a little Eiffel Tower, the little macaroons they're famous for, and then this little, um, this little charm on the end that is, um, you know, just basically says La Secret, um, La Dure, Paris. And uh, that's what it says on both sides. And it comes in different colors. You can get this in mint green. Um, and I think the macaroon colors change. And the same thing for black. But I wanted pink. And I don't know if I'm going to put that in my keychain or uh, use it as a purse ornament or what. But I just fell in love with it because it's like signature La Dure. Um, I probably won't order a box of macaroons or any of their other, like, um, some kind of praline, I can't remember. But I just thought this was cute. Um, I did order some of the blush, but I haven't seen it come in yet. So when I get that, I'll show you. But I just thought that was the cutest, most ornate, feminine, pretty little line. Love it. The other thing that I got in that I recently ordered was a reorder on some of my favorites, which if you've seen my 2014 favorite videos, um, I did like four. One for... Nails, candles, and something. One for um, face makeup, so that would be like, you know, base and blush and eyeshadows, palettes. Um, and then one for brushes and one for toiletries, like prep, like skincare and stuff like that. Um, shower, you know, bath and shower stuff. So, 
But in my skincare one, I already pointed this one out to you. And if you have never tried this, I really recommend you try it. I know people say it's Chanel. It's way too expensive. But really, this to me is worth the money. It's $48, I think, $45 or $48. So that is expensive for a hand cream. But the smell and the way that it feels on my skin, it's not greasy. It instantly makes me feel moisturized. I only use this as a hand cream. And it is the Nourish nourishing and rejuvenating hand cream from body excellence and it's precision Ch uh, chanel i'll hold it by my face so you can see it's kind of a little big to put in your purse but not too big it's not like mini size or travel size or sample size but it's not so huge that you can't put it in your purse that it'll make your purse too heavy so i really love it love the way it smells my husband one time was even asking me do you have any lotion my hands are really dry and normally he will not accept it because it smells like a girl and I said, no, just smell a little smidgen of this. And I let him smell the end of it. And he took it because it doesn't smell girly in the sense of floral or citrus or whatever. It just smells clean. You know, like how linen smells clean. It smells clean. But it's just a luxurious smell, and it works very, very well. And so that was one of my Chanel things that I got a refill on. The other was, as y'all know, I am so totally into the lipstick. And this is the long-lasting. It's got the color on one end on a doe foot applicator so it's very easy to put it on and then you let that dry just a few minutes I have it on and then you let that dry for just a not even a few minutes just you know 30 seconds and you put this which is a brush applicator high gloss see how it's almost dripping like I'll put some more on and you can see it is so shiny I mean it's super shiny one day i'm going to actually invest in a better camera and you'll be able to see better but it's it's very very high gloss and moisturizing and once i put this on it's on for hours like i can put this on at the beginning of the day after lunch after i've eaten almost to when i go home it is still on and i do reapply because i want to look pretty for my husband when i'm going home and it stays on all night uh, he can't kiss it off when I drink my coffee in the morning or eat lunch, there's no transfer on my cups or glasses. <coughs> Excuse me. I still have a little bit of bronchitis. And it's just, I don't want to have to worry about reapplying it all the time or it coming off. Like coming off on my clothes. Like if I'm trying on clothes when I go shopping, I don't have to worry about it coming off. It's just, I love it. And then the other product that I got a refill of is the Chanel Inimitable uh, Waterproof Mascara. And number black and, and number black in black and it's just a really good comb brush and waterproof mascara I do love it it lifts and separates so good almost too good it's very hard to get off and I have found that I actually get as good and I'm almost to the point of saying better payoff this is what I have on today and it is Maybelline's pumped up colossal waterproof it is a, um, brush applicator, an interesting shape. I like it because the way that it gets smaller on the tip, it makes it very easy to get on the inner lashes and the lower lashes. Um, but it's very thick in the middle, so it's very good for building volume because you're getting more on the brush and therefore as you sweep up, you're getting more on your lashes. And I really like it, you guys. I find it hard to believe that I would say that this is fixing to push Chanel out. This is like triple the price too. But it does look really good on because that comb applicator, it really um, separates your lashes really good. And because it's both are waterproof, so they just stay on and they're very, very buildable. So it does make your lashes look like almost good as fake. So anyway, that's what I got from Chanel today. All right. And then I had also placed on order this product that everybody I love on YouTube, Amelia Liana, um, I can't think of who else is, lots of people have pointed this out as this just incredible product, Hourglass, and it is called the Ambient Lighting Blush Palette with Luminous Flush, Incandescent Electra, and Mood Exposure. It's blushes. And I guess it's blushes that are luminescent. I have to tell you something about this. 
I tried all three and not only did a hard time getting did I have a hard time getting a lot of transfer not transfer pigment get it on my face um I didn't I don't see what the hype is I'm gonna keep trying it I'm gonna see what's the big deal because I paid a lot of money for this as you can see um, that's the size it's got a nice mirror on it it's, it's very pretty packaging ouch I just pinched myself Maybe that's hourglass trying to pinch me. I'm just kidding. Um, I want to like this, but I just, I don't see, I'm not going to return it because I have used all three of the colors um, kind of over and over and over, and it just did not seem to make a big difference, you guys. So, I don't know. I don't know that it's worth the money. But, I mean, people swear by it, so I'm going to give it another chance. Anyway, so that's that. And then I am fixing because I'm from the South. I'm fixing to reorder my uh, Double Perfection um, Natural Matte Powder. I cannot read that. It's so stinking type of makeup. <laughs> With SPF 10 in Tinder Beige 70. And I do remember this, that this is now, they switched number colors and 70. And this powder is now, um, I look at my face in the, Look, and the compact is my key. Um, it's now 32, I think. 32 or 35, I always mix it up. Oh, well. <coughs> so that's the things that I wanted to show you. And I'll talk to you again soon. <laughs> Before I choke, oh my gosh.